Shalom. My biggest mistake I made in my three years journey on semen retention, no fat, uh, practicing celibacy, my biggest mistake I made, and this is probably your biggest mistake you made as well too, but this is something that has to be talked about because you gotta stay strong, brothers. In a world that promotes lust everywhere you go, you go, you leave your house, you see a billboard with naked females on it, you go on social media, um, you see females twerking, shaking their ass, um, you go on Instagram, the people that you know in real life, they're always promoting that and stuff like that. So it's all temptations all around us, you know? And um, the Bible says, let no man say he is tempted of God. So when we're tempted, that's not God tempting us, you know? That's our flesh. That's, that's the devil, bro. That's the devil. So my number one biggest mistake that I made in my three years, thousand plus days of retaining, retain gain, strong, Holy Spirit strong. The, the biggest mistake I made was relapsing. Everyone does it. Everyone relapses. All fall short of the glory of God. All right. And one thing about me, I'm humble, so I could confess my faults, talk about my sins, my shortcomings. You know, um, some people think I'm perfect because of the, the messages that I preach. But what do you want me to do? Preach a, luke, a lukewarm gospel, a lukewarm message to tickle your ears. So I'm preaching that fire, you know, and even yes, I preach that fire, but I'm just like you, you know, falling short. So. Um, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to explain the reason why we relapse, at least for me. And I believe this could be for you other brothers too. All right. So my first time, let's talk about a little story before I go. So my first time on semen retention, I went 10 months. I didn't even know what semen retention was. I, I knew what NoFap was, but it was like, my spirit was leading me to semen retention. It was leading me to like, all right, let's, let's give that up. Let's give up the hoes. Let's give up, you know, that type of lifestyle because that lifestyle, it just leads to baby mamas like me. I want, and I do have one now. All praise the most. I have a wife, but that's what I want. You know, that's royalty. Baby mamas, baby daddies and stuff like that. Nah, bro. Like my, my parents didn't do that, you know, so I don't want to create a generational curse. And um, so I went 10 months to retention. I was strong, bro. Like I wasn't even... Focusing on females, bro. Like, I, I was just focusing on my purpose, going to the gym. Uh, that was back when I was deep in crypto. I, I still am in crypto. It's my job. But that was when I was day trading. I was on it strong, bro. Like, and um, all that type of stuff. Reading my Bible. It was mostly, 2019, the year was mostly about spirituality for me. It still is. But I was digging down deep and God isolated me for like two seasons. So, and when you're isolated, it's a lot easier to be on SR. At least for me. Some people, when they're isolated, they get weaker. But when I'm isolated, semen retention is, is a, lot, a lot easier. Because every time I relapse, it was because I wasn't isolated. But so 10 months strong. And then here comes the agent. Here comes the succubus. You know, here, here she comes. All right. C came as an angel of light, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, we were boy. She was, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. But that is still fornication. We weren't, we weren't married. Even though she told me I was her husband. But whatever. But so I fell short there. And we only lasted like, we only lasted like maybe like <laughs> two, three weeks. Nowadays, guys, if you're in a relationship and it lasts longer than the season, AKA three months, rejoice because most, and that's how you know that they're not from God. You know, if y'all only last for a season, that means they're only in your life for a season. That means you're, y'all were never meant to be. Y'all were never meant to be. And, uh, so after that, um, you know, I then I fell into masturbating and I started, I didn't watch porn. I still never watch porn. All praise the most high for that. But I started masturbating again. Not every day, maybe like once a week, you know, uh, when you fornicate, you're bought and, and you don't, I didn't, I didn't have her no more because I had to cut her off because she's an agent. Then my body was weak. My body still craved that, you know, because I was 10 months without it. And I guess this is my first time on sitting retention, having sex after, again, after, Abstaining for 10 months, like, bro, <laughs> I was going in, man. And, um, you know, so like, I was like, dang, I missed that feeling, you know? And I had to rebuke that, you know, I had to, I had to rebuke that. And that's a spirit, you know, when, when, when you want to masturbate, that's not you. When you want to watch porn and stuff like that and, and all that, right? That's not you that's doing it, bro. It's a spirit that wants you to do it. 
And, and if you don't obey that spirit, that spirit is going to cause headaches, pain, uh, all that type of stuff, problems in your life, bro. And that's why we need Jesus, we need the Holy Spirit to set us free, to break all the chains of any demonic strongholds, any um, spirits that we're about, any unclean spirits that we're battling against. We need Jesus, man. The way, the truth, and the life, the Most High God, the God of Israel, that's what we need. So um, with him, I was able to get my get my strength up back again because the Bible says a righteous man falls and rises up again. So every time I fell, I rose up again. I'm a warrior of the Most High. Of course, I'm going to rise up. But the Bible does say the wicked fall into the sheath. What does the sheath mean? Trouble. They just fall into their own snares, their own traps that they set up for the righteous. All right. And um, so after that, seven, I was seven months strong again. Then I fell short again. And how did I fall short the second time? It wasn't because of I got in a relationship. It was because... Um, I was partying, okay? And uh, brothers, you gotta understand that if you wanna last a long time on semen retention, you can't be feeding your flesh, you know? Because your flesh is gonna want more and more and more. The Bible says your flesh is warring against your spirit and your spirit is warring against your flesh. So the more you feed your flesh, the more your spirit is gonna get weaker and the flesh is gonna fight and win the war. Now you're back to relapsing. Now you're back to fornicating, uh, all that, all those type of sins, man. Now you're back to your own vomit, okay? And um, if you feed your spirit, you know, like prayer, fasting, you know, uh, meditating. What is meditating? Reading the Word of God. That's what many people in the Bible did, okay? That's meditating, meditating on the Word of God, which gives you peace, which gives you clarity, uh, which betters your understanding, um, et cetera, et cetera, wisdom, knowledge, all that, okay? Um, so... The more you do that, the more your spirit is going to fight against your flesh. And that's the reason why I was, I was, I could have went two years. It's just that, you know, the handler, you know, the handler had to send the agent my way. When everything is going good in your life, guys, here comes Satan. Here he comes with the agent, the woman in the red dress. Here he comes. All right. So just understand that it's a spiritual battle. All right. It's not, we don't battle against flesh and blood. It's not the people. That's why I did when the agent came my way to, you know, make me fall short, I fall short. I didn't get mad at her. I got mad at the devil, bro. <laughs> I got mad at him because he's just, he's a puppet master. And Azazel, too, another puppet master. So one thing I learned, guys, brothers and sisters, is that the more you feed your flesh, the more you're going to want to relapse. All right, y'all know what feeding your flesh is. Y'all know what it is. I was partying again, uh, smoking, drinking, um, you know, grinding on, you know, like, come on, I'm going to eventually want to, you know, I'm feeding my flesh. And then, boom, I relapse. And like I said, I never watched porn again, but I did fall into masturbating and fornicating. And, um, you know, and I'm so glad, I'm so happy, thank the most high God that I don't ever have to worry about fornicating. Um, and that's what brothers that are on steam retention, your goal, your end goal, well, I want to say your end goal, but your goal is should be to wait on God to send you your wife. I had to wait over three years, bro. You know, maybe I, I know some brothers who got it within a couple of months one year, you know, or I know some brothers who's five, six years and haven't got it yet. So it's really God's will in your life, you know, let that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, and never rush. Every time I went out of God's will to try to find my own wife, uh, I attracted witches. I attracted wolf in sheep clothing. Man can be wolf in sheep clothing, but also females can too. I attracted sucker business. I attracted demons, bro. That's what happens when you go out of God's will. You open up curses, bro, for your own life. So you got to trust God. The Bible says, happy is he who puts his trust in the most high God. So trust God, man. And yes, on this walk, on this evil retention walk, no fact, you're going to relapse. It is what it is, all right? And never be do too down on yourself, though, when you do relapse. Because understand that, hey, you're just getting more wiser, more stronger. You're understanding better. Through me falling short, this is how I'm able to get this knowledge. And not just in this video, but all my other videos. I learned. The Bible says to be wise, he must first become a fool in order to be wise. Okay? So you got to do foolish things to learn from your mistakes. A lot of people aren't learning from their mistakes. So they keep repeating and they don't gain wisdom. They don't gain the knowledge. They just keep, you know, making excuses, making mistakes that they know better. And I know we all make mistakes and stuff like that. But there's like a certain time where it's like, okay, you know, like... Let me obey the voice of the Lord. You know, I don't want to be disobedient. I don't want the spirit, the antichrist to work through me. So, you know, whatever the most high God says, all right, you know, all right. Got to be that humble servant. So uh, that's my biggest regret is relapsing. You know, uh, there was days where I did, like I said, I didn't even think about sex, bro. Like I was just focused. 
Right? A man who's focused, is a man who's disciplined, that's a strong man. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5, a man of strength had, um, let's find this real quick. I don't want to say this verse wrong, so hold up. All right. Of course, my laptop is dead, but I do have my Bible, so you got the scriptures on me. Let's read it. I believe it's Matthew chapter 25, 24. Yes, yes. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increased strength. Okay. So uh, the Bible also says in verse seven, wisdom is too high for a fool. He opened not his mouth in the gate. Okay. Wisdom is too high for a fool. It's just too high. It's just too high, man. So uh, that's why the Bible says don't cast your pearls on the swine. They're unclean. Wisdom is too high for a fool. The Bible also says that um, God only dwells with them who have wisdom. All right. All praises the most high once again. As you all see, I'm back on the content, pushing out this content. What happens back when I'm on God's purpose? Here it comes. Here it comes the devil to try to distract me. But like I tell you, I'm going to make a special video coming real soon. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. I got a special video coming real soon. And uh, for the chosen ones, you know, because that's the video. That's all my videos, all for the chosen ones. All right. I understand that not many people are going to resonate because people laugh when you, when you abstain from porn, masturbating sex. They're going to laugh at you. The people of the world, they're going to laugh at you. That's why God says to be set apart. Be separate and touch not the unclean thing, and I shall receive you as sons and daughters. Okay, so... Um, if you learned something or if you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. What's the biggest thing you regret on semen retention, on no fat? For me, like I said, it was relapsing and I just realized like, I was like, dang, like I could have went longer, you know? I could have, I could have went longer, you know? But hey, everything happens for a reason. Just gotta trust God's plan and, uh, you know, continue doing the will. Uh, what, is the, what is the will? The Bible says, uh, to abstain from fornication, that is the will of God. Okay, so um, let's do let's let's be righteous. All right, let's do let's do righteous acts because the Bible does say fornicators won't inherit the kingdom of God. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. They don't like to hear the truth. But hey, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.